first song we'll be singing is called Voice Dance. It is arranged by Greg Jaspers, and he wrote it for a friend for a wedding. So there's going to be like wedding bells, if you kind of can hear those and listen for those. And then the second song will be Just For Now. We'll be featuring some soloists in that one. And it was arranged by Carrie Marsh, or an arrangement by Carrie Marsh. And it just kind of like reminds, or like, it's like a chaotic family gathering, if you really think about it and listen for it. So hope you enjoy it. Quit kicking me under the table 
I'm trying, will somebody make her shut up about it? Can we settle down, please? Oh, it's the hot time of the year. We heave all our hopelessness is our sign. Just for a little while. Cause tears stop right here. I know we've all had a bumpy ride. Secretly all in our side. Bite, tongue, deep breaths. Count to ten, nod your head. I think something is burning. Uh, maybe I'll stay down here. This is kind of fun. <laughs> Good morning, Bennington. Boy, that was cool. Thank nice you. job. Thank you very much. And you look like a million bucks <laughs> in your blues and blacks and white. <laughs> so, um, great. Well, Mr. H has picked some great, great pieces for you guys to sing. Uh, I love both of these pieces. They're so cool um, for, for different reasons. And, and uh, they're both fantastic arrangers. You're absolutely right. Voice Dance is written for, uh, for uh, actually, you've represented two of the four vertical voices here. Uh, and and uh, there's a group, a professional group called Vertical Voices that Carrie Marsh and this, that uh, Greg Jaspers are a part of. And they wrote it for another person that's in the group, Jennifer Barnes, for her wedding. So I love that you mentioned that. Um, and I think. I think let's start with uh, let's start with voice dance um, because uh -huh. it sounds like a a, v a kind of a, a little bit of a solemn wedding right now. <laughs> and I'm going to try and get you guys as much as we can in five or ten minutes here to to make it sound like a joyous wedding. <laughs> and here's I think what I'm getting is I'm, I, I think you're you're thinking about each note a whole lot, and you're not maybe as much yet thinking about the phrase. 
So the phrase is like horizontal, right? Da 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 do we a da 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 we a da 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 da. So there's a direction to the phrase, right? And you can think each note. Here's me thinking about each note. Da 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 do we a da da do we a da. And here's me thinking about the phrase. Da 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 do we a da da do we a da. I know I'm not singing the right syllables, but <laughs> sorry, Greg. Um, but uh, you, you hopefully can hear a difference there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now that's the horizontal. And then in a second, I'm going to talk about the vertical, because we, we have to have both for this to happen. But let's, for now, can we really try and get the horizontal? I'm, I don't know if I'm in the right key or not. You start it. Stop thinking about your note. Good. One more time. Stop thinking about each individual note. <laughs> phrase, phrase, phrase. Beautiful, lovely, lovely, lovely. Very good. So that was much more horizontal. I think um, as the soprano part goes up, especially. I'm not warm about this morning, sorry. <laughs> but as the soprano part goes up, I think you all can have a certain rise and fall to your phrases now that you have the horizontal. Let's see if you can follow that soprano line a little bit. La, 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 lu, e, ya, la. Even though that's not your part, go ahead and pull that thing as if you're the soprano. Yeah. You're, you're, you're doing it right now. You're doing everything I'm asking. Just overdo it for now, for this clinic. So, um, and let me, let me give you a visual. I'll, I'll follow the soprano line and I'll, I'll, I'll shape it. And so as my hand goes up, you guys are gonna hopefully crescendo. Make me a little seasick here. You're gonna do so much crescendo and take crescendo. Here we are. <laughs> Good, good, good. You're doing it. I'm working awfully hard to make you do it, uh, but you're doing it. Exact window. So was that fun? Even the da da zing zing Those even have a shape to it, even though it's just like three notes. It's amazing to me how three notes can be shaped, or they can not be, and it can just be zing Thinking about each note instead of the phrase, el el phrase. <laughs> Thinking different languages here. <laughs> the phrase, it's it's a beautiful thing. Now, okay, so that's the that's the horizontal. Now, this is a processional, or was this his recessional? This was the recessional, right? So everybody's kind of walking. Everybody's kind of walking off. And so this attention to downbeat, Greg put this in there. Uh, so we have to feel this as an audience. And how do we get that attention to downbeat? What are you guys going to physically do besides 
well, I mean, you can certainly move on stage, but what can you change about your singing that's going to give us more downbeat? A little bit of an accent, I guess, on this. A little bit of an accent? Uh-huh. And how do we do that? Just obviously a little bit more sound there. What else can we do to accentuate the downbeats? Consonant. What? Consonant. Consonant, yeah. I mean, the, the types of consonants that Greg chose here, bavada, due, ya, ya. That's an exploding voiced consonant, ya. And you can either make it bavada, due, ya, da, or bavada, due, ya, da, ya, da, da, due, ya, da. He keeps coming back to the ya and wa as, as like the downbeat consonants. Does that make sense? Let's, um, uh, can we try from the beginning one more time? Am I still on an E flat? I got you off. I, I'll take the blame for that one. Sorry. I'll sing it in my own octave. Way. 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 So there's a W there, and we're going. Sopranos, you can pop that out. I know it's at the top of your range, but we all can pop that out a little bit more. One more time. That's it, you guys. <laughs> Downbeats. You guys are rocking. Do this with your other hand. So this is my, this is what I call down arrow, down arrow. And actually in my music, I mark down arrows everywhere. Every time I get a new piece of music, I'll put, where is there a stress? So those down arrows. Now, the other thing we were talking about were, to me, they're forward arrows, horizontal arrows. So the question is, is can you all get the horizontal and the down arrows going. There's, there's also an up arrow, but we don't have too many up arrows in here. Maybe, <coughs> maybe zing ah, zing ah. Yeah, there, there might be an up arrow after, you know where, I, where I'm talking about? Yeah. Um, but can you get both both things going on? Can you get the down and the horizontal? In fact, why don't you do that? Uh, down and forward. This is going to be fun. <laughs> Try this with your other hand. I think I'm in, still in, in tune. <laughs> right? Uh, I'm going to give it to you one more time just in case. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Good. Tenors can be right in the mic on that because that's your moment to shine, tenors. Um, great, great, great. It's still about the, the, especially the vertical. So can you please do this? And in fact, pretend, especially that that one, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, really dig your foot as if it's going below the stage. Six, 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Here we go. Horizontally into the That's it, guys. Good, 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 good. I think. I think the next rehearsal, I think you all should get in a circle and just just sing this around in a circle the whole time and see if you can really dig in. Because it's this. This is the attention to that downbeat is going to be everything for you guys on this piece. Right now, it's, it's a little too note by note. And um, so phrase plus the, the vertical. So it, that's kind of a weird idea, to have horizontal plus vertical going on at the same time. You can't, I think you guys, I think you can concentrate on both of those things. Um, uh, you know, we, we just concentrated on one at a time, and then we put them both together. I think that's a good plan for you all, because your notes are coming along on this. Uh, b poor bases. Bases, um, this is, especially the lower that you get bases, you all have to be of one mind on both of these pieces. Uh, there are moments on, uh, on just for you, especially toward the beginning and the end, when you guys have those low notes. <sighs> I mean, you know, technically, in, in a group, I would have one person sing that. But, but in a situation like this, you guys just have to kind of be, make sure that you're a rock solid on those low notes. And you might have one of the bass singers be kind of the, the leader so that their sound is slightly louder than everybody, the other two basses. Is it you guys? You three? So maybe have one of you three, whoever wants to, lead the way, and the other two kind of just be slightly underneath volume-wise. Um, the other, oh, I'm out of time. The only other thing on just for now is, is just, there are so many times, especially that you have diphthongs now, and where was the other diphthong in there? Uh, it was an eind word. Uh, now, ride. Oh, bumpy ride. I'd love to hear those diphthongs happen. Do you know what I'm talking about when I say diphthongs? Mm -hmm. And then also to keep the phrases energized. So, just for now. There's kind of a, a horizontal to those phrases, too. And it feels like you all are maybe slightly, you get a little bored with those long phrases. So keep it energized, keep interested in those. I've got a lot more comments on here, but Bennington, nice job this morning. So nice to hear you, and congratulations on making some fine work. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Hankey.